Now, now, hello and welcome to my review of the Mercedes SL 300 and what's it really like? Well, to start off, as a car, it's practical, the turning circle is good, it's a lot of useful cubby holes in here, here and over there, up here for your sunglasses and your wee um, uh, com compartment there for putting documents and, and bits and pieces. Now, it's not a modern car, but it has the beginnings of a, of a modern car. It's a, it's a usable classic, but you don't buy it in the same way you would buy a stately home because it's going to be nice and nice and warm. You buy it for more of the look, for, for what it is. Now, this unit is a, is a three litre. It's the bottom of the bunch, really. Now, people say the engine is quite uh, underpowered and slow, but I don't believe this car is built. It's built for speed. It, it doesn't feel like a car that wants to go fast. It wants to do 60 mile an hour. That's, that's it. And it's not really for much more. If you want to dash around very, very fast, like there's plenty of more cars suitable for that. This car is a car for tooting along 10, 15 mile an hour down by the promenade. If you have a holiday home down in Spain, the Riviera, Italy, it's perfect for that. Um, it's, a, it's a going slow summer car. Um, with the roof down, relaxing. And it's got a great little grunt at lower revs. It's really, really nice. It's really, it's not like a V8 burble, but it's a straight six and it's a very nice sound. Um, it just makes a nice wee rumble. I don't know, can you hear it now? If this one will kick down, but. And we are away. We are away. Um, it is a great car, a great car for this sort of thing. But, um, as I said, there is different variants. There, maybe the SL500 is a different kind of machine to drive. I've never driven one. I don't know. Um, there is bigger models in as well, the SL600, and there is AM, AMG models. But overall, I don't really think it makes a difference what engine you choose to go for, because I don't think this car is designed for going fast. It is more a cruiser. Now, this vehicle itself, as I said in my last video, has been off the road for 14 years. Now, for a car to light up for four, 14 years, I must say, it's in very usable con con condition. Um, you wouldn't leave a Range Rover Classic lying up for 14 years and expecting it not to be covered in rust. This vehicle itself is perfect. It's more than usable and I think it'll fly through its NCT. Now what an NCT is, it's the Irish version of an MOT. Um, it's gonna go in for it soon and I, and I believe um, it will pass with not many, uh, many uh, falls. As I said, I was trying to get the, the electric soft close, or soft top to work. I've not quite got down to it yet. I think it is an hydraulic seal somewhere along uh, along the lines but to find out which one is well it's quite tricky in Ireland with the weather time being Christmas and all that so I haven't quite figured it out yet but I will um, it was working perfect and then one day it, it kind of uh, stopped I must get the radio working it's not working but apart from that everything works I always find these older cars as well um, Mercedes Audi whatever even the old classics without the digital screens for the heating system and driven by climate control they're a very warm, powerful heating system, and they seem to heat up quite uh, quite fast. Now I'm currently, uh, she's sitting at, see this is what I say about she's not designed for speed. I'm currently sitting at 50 miles an hour, and it's just over 2,000 revs. And at 70, it's at 3,000. Now the engine revs to 6,000, so basically using half the power to get to at 70 mile an hour, it's just, it seems like it needs another gear. Now I know it is a four speed box, but just, it doesn't seem to design for speed. If it had a fifth, if it had a fifth gear, maybe things would be uh, different. But I feel with the, uh, only the four gears, it just, it isn't designed for, 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 for speed. Now it does handle well enough. It, like, it wallows along a little bit, but, um, after coming from Range Rovers and whatnot, as like uh, Range Rover Discoveries and whatnot, as daily drives and vans, uh, I do feel um, 
it handles grant. Um, so I wouldn't have any to print in that compartment. I do as well think uh, the prices on these are really on the up, especially here in Ireland. Um, a good example, one of one of these will fetch you back, that is vintage tax, will set you back about 30,000 30, euro, which, you know, is, is big money for one of these, but I mean, they will hold their money and they will go up, up in value, so it is quite nice. Um, well look, I hope you enjoyed the small slight review of, of this car, but before I go, it's 60 mile an hour, two and a half thousand revs, which, you know yourself, uh, it needs another gear. I don't know why there wasn't a fifth gear put into it at the, at the time, but, you know, it's just it's just the way it is, I suppose. Anyways, hit the sub sub subscribe button if you like what you see. If you don't, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. Um, there'll be plenty more videos. This, as I said, the restoration of this car will be coming along. And there's a Range Rover Classic as well that's currently going to get restored. I'll put up a video up of that as well. And, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And sure, keep, keep posting. If you like what you see, come and watch, watch again soon. Okay, bye-bye.